What's going on people, it's JM Sweet Boxing. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you click onto any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you have any opinions on what I'm seeing in my videos. So, Shannon the Cannon Briggs' fight against Fraser Quendo for the WBA regular heavyweight title won't be shown on television. It won't be aired on any network and it won't be aired on any channel in the States or in the UK, etc. And a few people seemed a bit surprised by this. I'm not surprised in the slightest by this. This is what Shannon Briggs had to say about it on social media. He said, I'm a self-promoted champ without a publicist or marketing machine behind me. If it wasn't for the people like you, I wouldn't be nowhere. I don't have a marketing machine behind me, champ. Just you, the people. I love you. Y'all gave hope when everybody tried to close the door on the old geezer. They won't put the champ on because I'm a beast from the mud. Too raw for TV champ, the corporation shook, thanks champ. So that's what Shannon Briggs had to say about his fight not being shown on TV. He seems very happy that the fans have got behind him in his campaign to become world heavyweight champion again and trying to get a fight for the world heavyweight title. But I understand why the TV networks are not interested in showing Shannon Briggs at 45 years old fighting for a belt people don't even recognise as a real world title against Fraser Quendo. Like, the regular belt is inferior to the super belt with the WBA. Like, whoever holds the super belt is seen as the real WBA champion. And this is why the WBA pissed me off with the two world titles. I'm not going to get into this because I have done in the past. I just think it's ridiculous with the two belts. But anyway, like... Shannon Briggs against Fraser Quendo isn't a fight that appeals to me. Shannon Briggs is number three in the W... No, he's number four in the WBA and Fraser Quendo was number five. But at number three, you had Alex Ander Ustinov. Like, I don't know, understand why he didn't get the shot at the belt because I f think he's active. I think he's, he wants a fight. He think he's saying he wants to fight Tyson Fury. In Tyson Fury's comeback fight, so I don't understand why he didn't get a crack at the regular belt, especially when he's ahead of Aquendo and Shannon Briggs. So that's a bit surprising to me. I'm surprised it was an Ustinov versus um, Shannon Briggs, but it's Fred Aquendo instead, even though Fred Aquendo's been inactive for the past three years. I know Ustinov has been a bit. Has been a bit inactive, but he hasn't been that inactive like Fraser Quendo was, and he isn't 43 years of age. So, yeah, Shannon Briggs versus Fraser Quendo on June the 3rd. I hope Shannon Briggs wins the fight because he's been campaigning so hard for it. He managed to self motivate himself to come back into boxing after he blew up to nearly 400 pounds when he was on a layoff after he got battered by Vitaly Klitschko a few years back in a world title fight. So I'm glad Shannon Briggs finally got a shot and all his talking and that has finally paid off. But the fact that I don't get to see the fight with my two eyes doesn't keep me up at night. So yeah, that's just my opinion in this. Comment below your opinion if you have one on this situation. JM Speedboxing.